Hi, I'm Jeff Miller of FunctionFitness.com. Today we're going to discuss the mechanics of a golf swing to prevent slices. Right now, Bob is in an athletic setup position, proper balance, proper grip strength. Grip strength is holding the club like a bird, meaning you want to hold it firmly, but not too hard. So again, his shoulders are level, he's got equal weight distribution, now he's going to go into the backswing. Okay, and now you can see the shoulder is pointed down. A flat shoulder would be pointing forward like that, that will cause a slice. He's got most of his weight on his right leg and the hips are loaded, so he's creating torque in the midsection. That's going to help facilitate the, the power of the golf swing and reduce the chances of slicing. Now he'll go right into the down swing. Right now Bob's going to swing correctly with the lower half of the body first then to create a slice, we'll swing with the upper half first. We're gonna discuss the fitness workout to increase the mobility to decrease your risk of slicing the ball. Number one is we stand on a solid surface, shoulders nice and still, hands nice and still. I'm gonna raise up my knee and bring it to the opposite side of the body. Again, this is to increase the mobility of your hips so your lower half leads and initiates the movement first. Anywhere is between six and eight per side. Now if you have access to a stair or a step, this will make it that much better and a little progression. Right now by putting one leg on top of a stair, I'm getting a pre-stretch in my hips right now. Anyone with tight hips, is, this will be very beneficial for you. Hands right here, shoulders nice and level, I'm going to step up and point that knee. Six to eight of these will do the body well, creating that disassociation so you hit the ball further and straighter. Now we're going to do mobility exercises for your upper back called your thoracic, which will increase your shoulder turn, thus it will decrease your risk of slicing the ball. By doing it kneeling, we're taking away our feet and ankles, which do assist in the golf swing. So now we're relying just on our core and our shoulders. Five hour in golf stance, same thing, reach up overhead, again opening up the upper back while maintaining the core. Do that two or three times per side. And then that will definitely uh, decrease your risk of slicing the ball. Now we're gonna lay on our back and we're now we're gonna increase the mobility of the hips. Anyone with tight hips will definitely slice the ball due to imbalances in the body of not separating. So we're gonna lay on our back with the palms down. You're just gonna gently drop both knees onto one side so you don't need any fancy equipment to do this. To side to side, anywhere between four and five per side. Then you can progress by putting one leg on top of the other knee and dropping the knee down nice and easy. You can see the disassociation happening between upper half and lower half of the body. Next is we're gonna do an open book to open up the shoulders, back, and hips. Start with 90 degrees, arms together. Your eyes will follow the fingers while keeping your knees still. Arm is down on the floor and see if you can place your fingers to the floor. Hold this between 20 and 30 seconds. Again, this is going to be covering a lot of muscles from your shoulders to your hips. This will make you turn better and decrease your risk of slicing the ball. For additional golf workout, check out FunctionFitness.com. Have a great day and lots of water.